What's up, everybody? This is the Clown Man here. But it doesn't matter who I am. What matters is my plan. Nobody cared who I was until I put on the act. Ladies and jesters, today we're talking about Payday 3. Should you buy it? Should you play it? What is Payday 3? Who's the greatest clown of all time and why is it you? Tough questions require tough answers. I was invited by the Payday 3 developer Starbreeze to go out to New York and take part in one of the coolest pre-release gaming events I've ever been to. I mean, it's only the second pre-release event I've ever been to, but it's gonna be hard to beat. They brought me and a bunch of other content creators to a real bank in New York, and then they all held us hostage in a mock robbery, and that was just awesome, amazing performance. So I met up with some really cool content creators. Uh, I asked one of them if he wanted to play a robbery game. He said yes. We had a grand old time. Then we had two hours to play Payday 3 and a new heist that wasn't available in the most recent beta. So consider this a first impressions video from someone who went into this completely blind, having never played Payday before. I gotta tell you, I, I'm infatuated. I think I'm falling for Krusty the Clown. It's a camera. I see a Watch camera. The camera. It's a camera. Yeah, camera. I see a camera. Watch the camera. Follow me, gentlemen. Check this out. I'm about to, I'm about to get this camera done. You ready for this? 360. Camera. <laughs> God damn it. That was the worst 360 ever. Payday 3 is a game where you and three buddies reenact the opening scene of The Dark Knight. You don't have any idea who you're stealing from? You and your friends are dead! A fantastic concept for a video game. Especially if you enjoy griefing your friends and ruining their day. Can we take the take the masks off? Oh god, oh god, this is a grenade. How do I put it away? Oh my uh, god. The goal being to rob each bank or warehouse location in the most efficient way possible and escape with the most loot possible. You level up, unlock new weapons and tools, buy better gear, play on higher difficulties for better rewards. You know the drill. Vermintide 2 has items that make your run through the level harder, like tomes and grimoire, but give bonuses if you complete the run. Payday 3 has a similar mechanic that I really like, except it's, you know, loot and bags of money. The more loot you escape with, the better your rewards are. And I typically fucking love co-op games, especially ones with RPG mechanics. Hell, even just a game that focuses solely on four-player co-op and not PvP, like that's a rarity these days. This is one of those games that you and the boys will sit down and play all night, then do it again the next day. But I also love that this game has a really well thought out progression system. It sure is crazy for a first person shooter to launch with one of those, isn't it? There's tons of different skills you can unlock and customize. Some focus on making you tanky. Others allow you to hack better or focus on close quarters combat. There's a bunch of different roles to play as and 105 skills to choose from. So it's not a simple like, okay, let's go in, shoot everybody, get the loot, get out. Like you can play that way, but that's not the only way to play. And combined with the wide variety of weapons, attachments, equipment, there's countless builds to make and try out. And it's cool to unlock new skills in a line. You simply equip the base skill and then you earn XP for that line of skills. I think that's a neat system. So you could focus on a support role that heals your teammates, provides ammo and armor, or become an engineer that sets up turrets and establishes a perimeter of defense. Even become an infiltrator with a knack for lock picking and throwing knives. It's entirely possible to get through the heists without triggering combat, which I think is really cool. Now, during these heists, you have plenty of options to sneak in or simply go in guns a blazing and light up anything that moves. I prefer this method because it means the badass soundtrack kicks in sooner. I haven't had this much fun killing cops since San Andreas. I thought my jokes were bad. Now, since co-op is the main focus, you can link up with randoms and in fact, make new friendships, but you could also play with someone who's a complete goober and has no idea what they're doing. So a game like Payday 3 is better enjoyed with friends and people you know. I'm just gonna shut the door on. <laughs> All right, they can't Whoa, 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 whoa. He just morphed through, God damn it! So if you like cooperative gameplay and teamwork, Payday 3 is gonna be right up your alley. You're encouraged to coordinate your builds with your teammates to cover potential weaknesses. That's why everyone's inventory and loadouts are visible in the ready up screen. So you don't all start the match with fucking shotguns and can't 
take care of the snipers. You can do things like spot guards for your team, set up health packs on the ground, ammo and armor. On normal difficulty, you don't really have to think too much, but once you step it up to hard, like you, you actually have to start working together. And although it is fun to work together with your friends and succeed, that's not always how friendship works. Nope, 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 I'm nope, these are mine, these are mine. Nope, are nope, nope. Hey, no, 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 close the door, no, 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 Pay attention to where you're going. Watch the guard. There's a guard. Pay attention to where you're going. Over there. Pay attention to where you're going. guard. So you could avoid shooting hostages to get a better payout at the end, but, but I don't know. There. Let me see your hostage. Okay. Oh my God. There we go. Wow. You're gonna lose so much money. Now, obviously, playing through these levels would get stale at a certain point if every match played out the exact same way. You'd get to memorize it and just perfect it in a way that kind of robs the thrill, Rob. <laughs> so games like this really benefit from that Left 4 Dead style of director who is throwing in random events and enemies to spice up each match. To my knowledge, Payday 3 kind of has this, but it depends on difficulty. So some events only occur on the higher difficulties while it's a bit more relaxed on normal. The higher you go up the tiers, the more accurate police will be, for example, the more aggressive and numerous. And this is a great way to make heists more replayable. Some cameras might be indestructible or guards might appear in places they don't normally. So you'll need to adapt when the game throws a monkey wrench in your plans. Sometimes the getaway van pulls in really close to you and other times uh, he's a fucking jackass and parks on the other side of the street. Every now and then you can run into fucking ninjas. What? Oh God, that's a ninja. That's a ninja. Ninjas that incapacitate you like the hunter and smoker. And other times you can encounter Officer Big Dick with his ultra thick juggernaut armor. Now, even if you fail the heist, you still earn a respectable amount of XP so that time doesn't feel wasted. Teammates can go down, get arrested, but you can trade hostages to save your teammates to actually revive them. There's so many cool mechanics like this. Hostages are basically like bargaining chips like they are in real life. You can also release hostages to delay the police assault in between the different phases. Speaking of phases, that's how the game operates. You've got like the stealth portion at the start, then there's the negotiation phase. Anticipation is the calm before the storm. The objective phase is when you start, you know, doing objectives. And then there's a point of no return where the cops will not stop spawning. So like I said, it encourages you to be efficient. The longer you take, the harder it's gonna be to finish. Once you do go loud, things can get super fucking chaotic as you try to coordinate with your team to stay on track and be efficient. For example, in this heist, you use thermite to, to break through into the vault, but the cops can turn on the sprinklers to delay that thermite. If you leave too many bags out, if you leave too many bags of money out in the open, eventually the cops will start stealing them back. Take too long and you might get overwhelmed and just have to cut your losses. I also think the way cops spawn in is varied and cool. Like they'll slide out from under this garage door, which looks kind of silly. Whoa, these guys come out from over here or repel off buildings. They show up in cop cars. I mean, they really thought of everything. Now, on a technical level, Payday 3 is very impressive. The physics are realistic. Graphics are incredibly detailed. And I'm a sucker for snazzy reload animations. The build I played at the event was super solid. The beta build that recently came out is older and did have some frustrating technical issues like frame rate drops. I mean, it was kind of a nightmare to get into an actual match with me and two other buddies. It took us a while, but once we got it, it worked. But the build I played was newer, so I imagine many of the technical issues I experienced in that latest beta won't be there at launch. This video will go live right around launch, so <laughs> let me know in the comments if I was right or not. I feel like the ideas and potential for a game like this is endless because it's not just banks you can rob. There could be things like art galleries with laser trip wires and all that jazz. That might be in the game. I only got to play two maps or, you know, maybe you're breaking into a museum 
and you run into Ben Stiller. And instead of fighting cops, you're fighting mammoths and all the other exhibits. Okay, that's a joke idea, but <laughs> like a crossover with Night at the Museum would actually be pretty cool. I did do a bit of research and it seems Starbreeze is dedicated to post-launch support. They've been doing that with Payday 2, so I imagine there'll be more heist, characters, cosmetics, weapons, skills, and all that good shit uh, added post-launch. Payday 3 gives that vibe of like a game that you can always go back to and have a blast. Very much like Left 4 Dead 2 or Battlefront 2, Vermintide 2. All the two games are really fucking good. It's cool that each heist has unique layouts, set pieces, objectives, and types of security you have to bypass. At times, it feels like you're, you're playing through your own movie. So in the new heist 99 boxes, you're like zip lining across shipment crates, infiltrating warehouses, stealing secret weapons and whatnot. And I'm excited to see what other cool scenarios they come up with. Yes, Payday 3 is looking to be a certified banger. And it's also a game that doesn't seem to take itself too seriously, which I think opens the door for all sorts of wacky cosmetics and scenarios. Apparently there's also no cap on the FOV slider so you can make the game look like, look like this. So now's the part where I talk about the relatively few complaints I have. And again, I preface this by saying I'm new to the series, so you know, could just be a something something skill issue. So there's gonna be eight heists available at launch, all based in New York, which now makes a lot more sense why they flew us out there. Payday 2 came out with 12 heists at release, and I wonder if eight is going to be enough for people. I didn't get tired of the two heists I was able to play, but it is something to think about. I also have to wonder if these maps are going to be as replayable like long term as Left 4 Dead 2's maps. Though this might not be a fair comparison since Payday 3 isn't just a like get to the end of the level type of game. Now there were times during the heist where I also felt like I didn't really have anything to do but wait. Like I was just watching the timer go down, waiting for the next objective or waiting for cops to attack. But maybe I'm just lazy and want to get to the shooty shooty right away. And sometimes the hardcore music is blaring when there's no action. So I don't want to get tired of the soundtrack because it's too good. When it comes down to it, uh, Payday 3 has made a very good first impression on me. As a newcomer to this series, I'm excited to try out the game and play with my buddies and grief the ever-loving shit out of each one of them. You know, I'm a pretty hard nerd to please and somewhat reluctant to step too far out of my gaming comfort zone. But I'd seen a lot of requests from people asking about my thoughts on Payday, and I decided to take this offer, play it early, and let me tell you folks, no regrets. If you're new to this series like me, I'd recommend picking it up. It is $40, so it's also cheaper than a lot of other AAA games. If you do play Payday 3, I think you'll have a great time clowning around with the homies. I thought my jokes were bad. But thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did and subscribe to the Act Man for more awesome content. And a big thanks to Starbreeze for letting me play the game early. All right, everyone, that's all I got for today. This is the Clown Man, signing out. Peace!